Hey guys, it's part two on my Banshee build. What I've done since the last video is I removed the engine. I am going through the front bushings, checking what's good, what needs replaced. Got that top bar over there for the A-arm, top A-arm. So everything's solid there. Everything's tightened down the front. I am putting the rotors on and calipers at the moment. I took out that piston in there and cleaned it up. Um, the piston needs to be replaced. But as of now, this will do. Clean off the camera a bit. There we go. Engine is removed. I got the non ported cylinders on because the pistons for it were oversized half millimeter, so this is what that fit on it. Um, both sides obviously gaskets um, the top studs are fucked <laughs> but I just put a bolt on there and tightened them down just to make sure it had good compression the crank was in good condition and everything turned freely I have the lockout clutch on all the plates fibers or the steels and fibers in there If you don't know how this works, just look it up on YouTube. It's pretty simple. Centrifugal force pops it out, which gives it more force under the plates, and it causes it not to slip. Noticed it does have an oil pump or a water pump, but the gear here is broken. So I need a new one of these. That's like. 40 bucks for a plastic gear to rip off on but I guess it is I got my cool heads here from work still need to completely clean them up they have 20 cc domes in them now gasket set over there over here I scattered everything around I got my FMF fatties with the turbine core twos silencers um, I just sort of just spread everything out this is brakes right here wiring harness coils spark plug stuff up there carburetor spindles brake levers and steering stems here I got the key switch installed on it probably gonna repaint that I did find boots for this and I also bought some from my workplace we had laying around and two reed cages and reeds I'm not sure what kind this is but it is aftermarket I'm guessing it's voice in but I could be wrong got miscellaneous bolts there but what I'm doing now is going to put on the rear brake caliper which is just two bolts um, just to make sure that the master cylinder does work because I have another master cylinder for this I'll bleed that up and then I need to order the bushings for the rear like they're all missing off the shock and the carrier Got the sprocket on, the axle nuts tight. Um, started doing the wiring harness, but it's just not matching up the way I like it to, so I might have to do some modifications. But I'm gonna keep on working and give y'all an update soon. Okay, this is what I got done. One piston off, leaving that piston on. I'm having my drag ported cylinders bored to this size. Um, heads off, old cylinders are off. Might get those ported too. Um, got the side cover off, clutch is fully assembled. Um, on the bike, what I got done is I got all the ports on a list with parts numbers so when I go to work and just order them up right. Um, 
Fairmaster cylinder or caliper, I should say, is on. The two chain tensioners are on. Started doing some of the wiring. Got the rear brake just sitting on there, the pedal. Went through all the fronts, tightened everything up. Got that top bar on. Checked all the bushings, gonna order new upper and lower ball joint bushings and or ball joints. Um tie rod bushings, ball joints. Um I didn't get too much done, but a little bit's progress. And I got you know the whole carrier housings all done. So I guess I'm starting from the back and moving forward. When I get all my stuff in the shock on all that the swing arm excuse me um the swing arm bearings and bushings um then i'll work more forward put in my steering shaft bearing and bushing this one up here is still good and then i'll put my Got new front shock bushings coming. Yeah, you can see here these are just shot. If you make it right, it's worth more. <laughs> worth more and it'll last longer. And then I have to order the right bolts for the caliper because those rub. I just wanted to make sure that they were the right size and they were. Some progress. Still a lot of stuff laying on the ground though. Upstairs. I have my plastics and rims. These rims I got from work. They were just going to throw them out. They've been sitting on the shelf for a couple years. Another gas tank. Um, skid plate. Drag cut, front fenders, a gas tank cover. Somewhere there's the radiator cover. Oh yeah, radiator cover's right back there. And then my back ones are on the drag quad. That's a half hour away. But it's coming along. I'm going to throw the plastics on it quick so you guys can take a little look. I want to get those repainted, but I know they're pain to paint and they'll just chip right off. So I don't know if I want to order some online plastic kits for the future. I want to go pearl white. So that'll go perfect with the color scheme. Might paint the top A-arm. Um, but I'll get that on and then I'll get my next little clip up on this video. There you go, the plastics are on in the seat. I also have a complete seat that's on my drag quad right now. I'll just transfer to this. But you can definitely tell it takes away from the whole color of the frame. So the white will make that purple stand out a lot better. But thanks for watching, and I'll get some parts ordered, and then it'll be part three.